the stunning slaughter that later became to be known as the Lennoxville Purge is considered a turning point for the Hells Angels in their history in Quebec. It's basically the point where the Hells Angels decided we're going to become businessmen as opposed to just being rowdy bikers. Uh, when they were recruited into, uh, into the Hells Angels the f and formed the first chapter in Canada in 1977, the gang was still basically a group of unruly bikers who were more interested in partying and having fun and uh, partying uh, all weekend with coke and women. And, uh, but by 1982, that, that attitude had somehow changed. In 1985, they were involved in such high-level drug dealers with such groups as the West End Gang and the Mafia, groups that require professionalism from, uh, from their, their business associates, that they basically decide we have to decide our future here. If we're going to grow and become the businessman we want to be, we have to get rid of this whole unruly aspect as part of our group. So that, that was basically the motive behind the Lennoxville Purge. It was, a, it was a time for them to get rid of their unruly members. Those unruly members had basically created very, uh, very complicated debt with a group called the West End Gang, and, and this whole uh, thing that transpired on March 24th, 1985, was a settling of all those accounts. As a, as a sign of what the Hells Angels later became after the Lennoxville Purge, and basically a sign of proof of what the, the, what the motive was behind it, the Hells Angels became a very uh, much more business-like group afterwards, and the members who were recruited into it were much more business-like. The best example of that is Morris Mumboucher, Boucher, who was recruited just a few years after the Purge and attracted into the gang be uh, after it. And what happened was that Morris Mum Boucher, if, if you consider it one of its typical members, he was very, very well organized, very businesslike, and took the Hells Angels onto a whole other level. Uh, he joined the, initially joined the Montreal chapter, but then he later went on and decided he wanted his own, his own thing and created the, the Nomads chapter of the Hells Angels. And that took the Hells Angels uh, in Quebec into a whole other stratosphere. It basically brought them up to the level of of uh, the, the Mafia and, and any other organized crime group in Quebec.